Hello. Um, you know, I've made a lot of videos now, and uh, it's really nice. It's really nice to know that they're being watched all over the world and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, the one video that I've made which has been watched the most, uh, today is the 22nd of August, and, and, and as of today, I think the one that's been watched the most is, the, is a kind of an introductory video to macroeconomics, which says the circular flow and, and how you know, firms and households and leakages and injections and just what an economy is. And that video has been picked up by an Australian finance website and uh, uh, the University of Malta and uh, some college in Singapore and another college in Russia. And it's really flattering. And I, you know, I'm thrilled about it. I can't believe it, but I, I'm thrilled about it. And it struck me that, 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 that something that really I, I should cover, as, as again, as a really basic introduction uh, in macroeconomics, is, is to consider what do governments want to achieve with their economic policy. You know, once they know what, what the economy is, what is it that they're trying to achieve? What are their goals? And as they set out with their fiscal policies and their monetary policies and their supply side policies and exchange rate policy and trade policy, what are they trying to achieve? And it boils down to four really essential macroeconomic goals. And then I suppose there's a, a, a couple of other things that are very important that they're trying to achieve as well. And that's what I want to look at in this video. So sorry about the long introduction. I'll, I'll, I'll get on with it now. These four come in no particular order. I think they're all, I mean, each individual government depends which of these is most important to it. But um, certainly they would all agree that the following four things are extremely important. They try and achieve economic growth. Uh, they try and raise the level of their GDP. They want to be making more so that the citizens of the country can have more things or can have more things to sell and get the money to buy the things that they want. So economic growth, which is a rise in the GDP, a sustained rise in the GDP, that's definitely uh, a macroeconomic goal of government. Here's another one. To achieve low price inflation. It's the politicians running the economic policy, and politicians know that the citizens, the voters, the electorate, of their countries hate inflation. Inflation really hurts. It's one of the really noticeable things that the ordinary citizens of the country feel in their pocket. And it's hurting them at the moment as we get 4 or 5% inflation across Europe. Low price inflation, because when prices go up, we have less money. We have less effective money. Um, it erodes the value of our money. And that's very, very painful. Uh, not just hyperinflation in Zimbabwe at the moment, 11 million percent, but even 5% in, 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 in Greece, in Spain, in Belgium. This really hurts people. So governments want to achieve low price inflation. A third thing that they want to achieve is low unemployment. Again, it's a vote loser. I'm a cynic, and it's a vote loser, and they want to, because every person who's unemployed, it's all right to vote for that political party. So. But on another level, of course, there are good people in governments, I'm sure there are somewhere, and they are trying to reduce unemployment because it's a waste. It's a waste of a precious resource, and it, and it has enormous costs, not just on a national scale, but on a local scale and on a personal scale. Unemployment is very, very destructive. It's a terrible waste. Governments want to keep unemployment low. And fourth of the major ones is uh, they want to achieve uh, how can I write this? Um, they want to avoid uh, trade deficits. Um, countries are trading more than ever before. We're specializing more than ever before. Trade barriers are coming down. Uh, trading blocks like the Euro European Union are being set up all the time and strengthened all the time. NAFTA in the, in, 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 uh, the US, Canada, Mexico. Uh, ASEAN in, in, in Southeast Asia. And these Trade is being promoted all the time and we specialise more and more, but we cannot buy in more than we sell because that means an outflow of money. And the governments have to watch their balance of payments and make sure that there is not an overall outflow or at least not sustained and large. Okay, they are four major um, economic uh, goals of government. There are other ones though, the, the redistribution of income. Governments want to make sure that there is not an unfair distribution of income in the, in the country. So they use tax uh, and benefit systems uh, to try and redistribute income 
Um, uh, some figures I saw in the UK showed that if you split the, econ the, the, the UK economy into five groups from the richest 20% to the, down to the poorest 20%, um, the difference between the average person in the richest and poorest 20% without tax and benefits would be by a factor of 18. For every pound that the person earned or had in the, in, in the lowest 20% would be equal to 18 pounds uh, at the other end for the, person, the average person in the richest 20%. But after tax and benefit, that factor of 18 reduces to 4. And so tax and benefits really do redistribute income. To what extent? Well, that's up to the political sort of uh, interests of, of, of the party, perhaps. But all parties seek to redistribute income. And of course, more and more important, another a sixth macroeconomic goal of government is, uh, and it is economic, is the state of the environment, the sustainability of the economy. There's no point going crazy and getting massive economic growth today if we exhaust everything for tomorrow. So they have to think more and more about the sustainability of these goals. Um, or at least if it's not a separate sixth um, objective, at least they have to consider these now in, in an environmental sustainability kind of context. But those are the goals of government. And how they approach them, well, that's, they, they have different ideas about that, but I think most most governments and uh, most politicians would agree these are the economic goals of government. Uh, they just disagree about how to get there. Okay, but that video I think is a really important one because it's, it's so fundamental and it, it just occurred to me that it, you know, there's no point looking at policies and fiscal monetary policy and stuff without stopping and thinking what are they trying to achieve. So that's, I think, I haven't numbered my videos really, but if I did this would be one of the first ones I'd expect people to watch. Should, probably should have been the first one I made, not the 46th one. Yeah. Never mind. Hope, hope you enjoyed it.